Hello there. This is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Women saying that they look for personality first. <laughs> oh man, you know what's funny? Usually when I plan my videos, I do so a few days before I actually record them or in this case, actually videotape them. And just as an aside, I know people saying, oh man, Ram's showing his face, it must be a special video. Nah, I just got more time. And you know, the eyes aren't red from moonshine or anything. So I said, shoot, I'll uh, show my face today. But anyway, getting back to the subject at hand, Women talking about, they check for personality first. Bunk. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, you know what? It's funny because like I said, I prepare my uh, videos, or at least the video topics, a few days before I actually record them, right? And it's funny, I, I wrote it down and I really don't really look at it again, right? Until I'm ready to record. And then a lot of times I'm just flowing. But this time, you know, I wrote it down, but I kept finding instances of where, well, examples rather, of women not checking for a man's personality in some cases. And in other cases, just blatantly lying and saying they were checking for personality. Like there was a, I have a Facebook friend and it might be a gentleman who follows these videos and, um, you know, brother, uh, I don't want to call your name on here because I don't know for sure if you follow my videos, but if you do shout yourself out. Now this brother on a Facebook feed had, was asking women if, you know, what do they go for in a man, personality, money, or looks? Most women said personality. One woman who I considered the most honest said money. Because he said, shoot, yeah, you can fix looks and you can, you can buy a personality, something like that, right? And, you know, but the whole thing of women going for a man's personality, you know what, I'm not going to say it's an outright lie. I'll say it's a half truth. Because, you know, you get these magazines, you get these books, you get these uh, panels where women talk about all the personality traits that they want in a man. And, and that's cool. And they're actually sincere. What they don't say is that they want those personality traits in a man that they consider physically attractive. That's where, that's where the trick comes in. See... You have a situation where women, women will tell you that they'll make a choice in a man within a few seconds of seeing him. You know, whether as men we think it's right or wrong, it is. It is what it is. But the funniest thing is, I'm like, okay, these women are saying we go for personality. But how can you tell a man's personality just by looking at him? Yeah, I'm going to let that hang out there a bit. I can't tell a man's personality. All you can tell is how good he looks to you, how well he dresses. You know, that dude could be, that dude could be like a philanthropist, philanthropist. that's my word to trip over. Uh, that dude could be like, in the community, that dude could be a millionaire. But you cannot... You might not could tell right then because he might be dressing bummy just to be dressing bummy right then. Or even if a man is dressed up, what does that say? It, he might just have one suit. Or even if you see a man or a woman sees a man with a certain type of car. And yet we know women, they judging the man on his car. What happens, uh, you know, that car could be, he could be borrowing the car. Or he could just have that car and live in his mom's basement. I've actually known plenty of guys, they, they'll have expensive cars, big cars, but that's because they can afford to pay for it because they're not paying rent. You know, when women say, you know, yeah, it's the personality, you know, they, they don't, yeah, they just don't tell the whole side of the story. And see, the problem with that is many men believe them. 
And then many men get frustrated when, you know, they'll say, well, I have a great personality and the women don't choose them. Think about it. Because a woman can say, oh yeah, I'm going for personality, but we're paying attention. And even if a, a specific woman says, we're going for the personality, you know, people around her say, well, why are you going for that guy because he's 6'2"? They, you know, they can see the guy she went at 6'2". They know that that guy, you know, he might be boring or have a jacked up personality, a mean person. But then, you know, some other woman that went out with that guy said, well, you know, do, do pack it. What they got to do with personality? You know? And I just watch, look. <laughs> you know what? This is why there are so many problems in communication in relationships. And I'm not just talking about just regular conversations. I'm talking about plenty of times I've been on panel discussions, seminars, and a whole bunch of other stuff where men and women are getting together. And the biggest problem is there's an honesty. You know, all the panels I've done and when, you know, you always have audience participation, everybody always say, well, he got to have a personality and all of that. And I'm going for it. But how would a woman know? If a woman is making a choice within the first few seconds of a man, whether or not she's going to choose him and allow him to go forward, how would she know about his personality? You know, because in that instance that she might run into some guy, she don't know where he's coming from. Like what he's going through right then that might not show it. Even if he has a gregarious personality, he might be a fantastic person that a woman might like. But at that one moment when a woman might encounter a man, he might not be having one his A game. He, you know, there's a thousand things that could happen. How can a woman tell? See, if women really really were truly concerned or most concerned about a man's personality, well, we wouldn't have the uh, relationship issues we have today. Because let's be real on something. Women encounter men that they, who they, whose personalities they like all the time. They're called nice guys. Despite what women say, they all women got like maybe one or two male friends that they love dearly, like sincerely love. They're just not in love with them. They don't lust them. But the personalities are kicking. And sometimes, some women, to their credit, might try to make something work. But, you know, there's always something missing. You know, seriously, if, if it was really about personality, the divorce rate would go down. Because usually when women divorce a guy, it's either about money or sex. It's very rare it's about the personality. Very rare. You know, yeah, they say irreconcilable differences. That's just a catch-all when they just don't want to say, you know what, I don't like how dude looks anymore. That's all that is. See, if it was about personality, hey, it would only be a few women out there who just couldn't find a mate. Because all the women listening to this now, even if they're single, look at how many, how many male friends you have, like male friends, like guys you can talk to, guys that help you move your furniture, listen to you, can laugh with, but you ain't feeling them because, I don't know, instead of being six feet, they're five nine. Or instead of pushing like that uh, E-class, they pushing some economy car. Or instead of having that kick-ass job and dressing all fly and stuff, they dress modestly and they just have a functional job. Where is personality and all of that? If it was really about personality, hey, <laughs> the whole sexual hierarchy would be inverted. It'd be the nice guys at the top and the good bar types like, how come I can't get a woman? You know? I don't know. Maybe on some parallel universe that's the case. And you know what? I'm not really, I'm not going to call it fucker. I'm really not. I'm, not, I'm really not going to call it fucker. I mean, it can be. But what I will call it is just not saying the whole story. Men are, you know, a lot of women, they lie about what they really want and then wonder why they don't get what they want. That's because you're not being honest. Men can handle it. If you tell most men, 
if you tell most men, look, I'm looking for somebody, you know, certain height, all of this, yeah, we'll we'll talk a little trash, but at the same time, we gotta respect. If we know that's not us, most men are just gonna move on. You know, most men say, well, that's not me. You know, but see, a lot of women don't want to say that to a man because they know a man. Most men will stop chasing them and stop spending money on them when they know they ain't gonna get anywhere with them. <laughs> they know it, you know. They know they ate all those dinner dates where the women already know it's not going any place. It'll stop. But at the same time, many men will say, "All right, I'll stop doing this." But here's a here's, here's what many women don't get by being honest. Then the man, shoot, he knows what he needs to do. You know, believe it or not, I respect gold diggers. I respect. I know. I mean, they, they, some level they social parasites, but you know, at least you know where you stand with them. And I've known a few. They tell you straight up they gold diggers, but I was cool with them because it was like, okay, I already know. I don't have to try to get with them. You know, I've met some women in my past. They say, you know what? Well, I'm not really physically attracted to you. Huh? I didn't get mad at them. I was like, oh, okay, good. I don't have to waste time trying to convince you to like me or take you out or ask you out or anything. Many men can respect that. And see, women actually hurt themselves by not being honest about what they truly want. Because once women start being honest, I'm going to tell you what happened. Those videos I've done about working out and stuff, oh, trust me. <laughs> You'll have more brothers in the gym. There's already a lot in there. You'll have more brothers in the gym. You know, more brothers trying to dress fly. You know, if they, if women just be honest. But see, part of the honesty thing, and this could halfway be another video, if women start being honest, many women know if they start being honest, we'll start being honest too. And we'll just be like, all right, baby, hey, you want us to look a certain way? Hey, psh, you want us in the gym more? Okay, fine. So I'll meet you, I'll meet you at that gym. I'll have my gym bag ready. <laughs> because many women know if they start being honest, then men, hey, we ain't gonna hold back. We're gonna say, look, this is what we want. Fair exchange is no robbery. So anyway, that's all I have to say. And like I said, me doing, you know, going on camera for this, this is just, I got free time now. <laughs> you know, I can set up the lights, everything, and all of that good stuff. So anyway. That's it for now. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.